Hello everybody. In this video I would like to show how to take pretty pictures of the sun with a deep sky camera app for Android and a smartphone. My name is Michael Seeburger Weichselbaum and I'm the developer of the deep sky camera app. So you can see here the sun. The sun is totally overexposed. The smartphone is attached to a telescope. It's a six centimeter refractor from Takahashi. And of course I'm using a solar filter of the sun uh, for the sun as you can see here and I'm using the uh, 6.7 millimeter eyepiece from Explore Scientific so this one runs pretty well and but the uh, picture of the sun is not really nice we want to take a pretty picture like this or this and I show you how to do it first of all before you take any pictures we must adjust the exposure time of the preview. You can do that with a slider by moving it up or down. So I can try it here as you can see. Uh, it, uh, that's much more better but the sun is also overexposed. With um, app update 131 I've introduced a new function. Uh, you can change the time range of the slider on the left. The default time range of the slider is between zero seconds at the bottom and one second here at the top. So um, that leads to a totally overexposed picture and we need to adjust the exposure time in a much more easier and better way. So go to the app menu, tap on the three dots upper right, go to settings and here the second entry preview exposure time please tap on that and here you have the different time ranges. here the first one is the default time range between zero seconds and one second the maximum is one one ten second with the sec uh, third option the fourth option here uh, the time range is between zero and one one hundred second that could be really good for us so let's check it I go back, I go back, and as you can see, oh, ah, sun looks really, really nice. So I'm uh, adjusting the exposure time again. Ah, yeah, it's really good, yeah. So here, yeah. this is a really good exposure time, I guess. Before we take a picture, we need to um, refocus a little bit. I never, never use the slider on the right to focus at the telescope. Please use always the focuser of your telescope. So I'm adjusting the focuser as you can see it's getting blurry. Now it's getting better. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, here we are. So we are doing a first test picture. So the first thing you should do is switching to JPEG. Uh, because it's a test image we can delete later. Type can be lights and now comes the really next important thing. Setting the exposure time of the picture. You've set the exposure time of the preview but not um, the exposure time for the pictures. And here comes the new function I've introduced in update version 131. You can synchronize the exposure time. Don't use uh, an exposure time here. You can try it, but you have to do lots of, of um, test images to find the appropriate exposure time. The best thing is to synchronize with the preview. This option means the um, exposure time for the real pictures you, you want to take is set, um, is set from the exposure time chosen here on the slider. So um, you don't have to choose the, um, the exposure time like this one. Okay, so let's go to preview. Oh, now auto, let's go to preview. So ISO level can be as it is. For the sun, it's the best thing to, to set the, the lowest ISO value mostly it's 50 or 40 or 100 here on this phone it's 68 so interval time can be five seconds 
the number of frames I want to take uh, is too much. Uh, I would like to take only one test pick and white balance can be the same and that's it. Okay, let's go. So we have a delay of two seconds and now the first picture is taken and here we are. So you see the icon pops up right to the shutter button and let's check it and the sun looks really good. As you can see we don't have any activity on the sun. Uh, I mean we don't see any sunspots yet. So and now let's take the pictures. I'm switching to RAW. You can also use RAW plus JPEG. It doesn't matter. So and I would like to take 100 pictures now. Oops. Oopsie. Oops. Oops. Ha! Ah, I cannot enter. Yes, here we go. Oops. 1000 is a little bit too much. So here we are. So I don't need to center the sun. It's very close to the center of the eyepiece. So we can start our session. I'm pressing the shutter button and that's it. Here we go. Uh, we are taking now 100 pictures of the sun and after the session we need to process the pictures. Uh, this must be done with separate computer software like um, PIP and AutoStockart and Registax and Photoshop or other image processing software. Um, I will show that in a different, in another video. In this one I will show you only how to take the pictures. Uh, the pro version of the app will do it later in the app, but currently you can only take the pictures. So I'm pausing the recording a little bit and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. So here we are back. The session is ready in a couple of seconds. Let's wait a couple of seconds and then let's check the pictures. So, yes, number 99. And here the last picture. Ready, that's it. We've taken 100 pics, let's check. Tap on the icon and the internal file browser pops up and here you see all the files. Okay, it's good, we have all the files and that's it. I go back to main screen and now you can take a second session with 200 pics or whatever. So that's what I want to show to you in the next video, how to process the pictures uh, with the appropriate software and um, that's it. See you in our Facebook group or on Instagram or on the YouTube channel. Bye bye.